welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's move on with the practice question of the last segment. Earth R is the initiative of which of the following organization? The correct answer to this question is World Wildlife Fund for Nature. Earth R is the World Wildlife Fund for Nature's annual initiative that began in 2007. On March 26, 2022, Earth R Day was observed by registering for Earth R, individuals, communities and businesses make a commitment to turn their lights off for an hour in acknowledgement of an act they will undertake for the benefit of the planet. People around the world come together every Earth hour to support efforts to tackle climate change. Select the states from the following list where no tribe has been identified. Haryana, Punjab, Delhi, Pondicherry. The correct answer is all of them. That is option D. The Supreme Court wants to fix foolproof parameters to determine if a person belongs to ST and is entitled to the benefits due to the community. The judiciary is no longer sure about an affinity test used to sit through anthropological and ethnological traits to link a person to a tribe. There are over 700 tribes that have been notified. The largest number of tribal communities are found in Odisha. No tribe was identified in Haryana, Punjab, Chandigarh, Delhi and Pondicherry. Consider the following statements. The natural rubber plantation requires a temperature above 25 degrees Celsius with a moist and humid climate in India. Tamil Nadu is the largest rubber producing state. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first statement is correct. A is correct. Riding on a plantation wave that is sweeping the northeast of the country, the rubber nurseries in Kerala are getting the best out of their grow bags after a decade-long lull. Natural love rubber is an equatorial crop, but under special conditions, it is also grown in tropical and subtropical areas. The conditions which are required are Temperature should be above 25 degrees Celsius with moist and humid climate. Rainfall should be more than 200 cm and the soil type should be rich, well-drained alluvial soil. Cheap and adequate supply of skilled labor is needed for the plantation crop. The British established the first rubber plantation in India in 1902 on the banks of river Periyar in Kerala. India is currently the sixth largest producer of natural rubber in the world with one of the highest productivity. Top rubber producing states are Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka. Consider the following statements regarding Padma Awards. The awards are also conferred in the field of art, sports, science and engineering. The Padma Awards Committee is constituted by the president every year. We have to select the correct statement. Only the first is correct. A is the correct answer. Recently, the President of India conferred Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan and Padma Shri Awards for the year 2022 at the Civil Investiture Ceremony 2nd at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Padma Vibhushan is given for Exceptional and Distinguished Services, Padma Bhushan for Distinguished Service of Higher Order and Padma Shri for Distinguished Service. Padma Vibhushan is the highest in the hierarchy of Padma Awards which is followed by Padma Bhushan and Padma Shri. The awards are given in various disciplines and field of activities like art, social work, public affairs, science and engineering, trade and industry, medicine, literature and education, sports and civil service. The awards are conferred on the recommendations made by Padma Award Committee which is constituted by the Prime Minister every year. Consider the following statements regarding National Waters Award 2022. The state of Tamil Nadu has got the first prize in the best state category. The awards are organized by the Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation, Ministry of Jal Shakti. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second is correct. B is the correct answer. The President of India felicitated the winners of the third National Waters Awards on 29th March 2022. The Jal Shakti Ministry has launched the first National Waters Award in 2018. The states of Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, have got the first, second and third prizes 
respectively in the best state category and the awards are organized by the Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation Ministry of Jan Shakti. They facilitate a good opportunity for the startups as well as the leading organizations to engage with the senior policy makers on adopting the best water resources management practices in India. Consider the following statements. Asian elephants are the largest land animals on earth. African elephants are keystone species. Asian elephants are listed as endangered in the IUCN red list. Only the second and third are correct. B is the correct answer here. The Union Environment Ministry has constituted a permanent coordination committee to prevent elephant deaths on railway tracks. There are three subspecies of Asian elephants, Indian, Sumatran and Sri Lankan. The protection status is for IUCN, they are endangered. Their sites, Appendix 1 species and Schedule 1 of World Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. African elephants are the largest land animals on earth and they are slightly larger than Asian elephants. They are also keystone species, meaning they play a critical role in their ecosystem. Also known as ecosystem engineers, elephants shape their habitat in many ways. Consider the following statements with respect to central service rules. Under this, government servant means any person appointed by the government to any civil service or post in connection with the affairs of the union only. It was enacted in 1964. We have to select the correct statement. Only the second is correct. B is the correct answer. Chief Minister of Punjab has threatened protests against the Union Home Minister's announcement that central service rules will apply to employees of the Union Territory of Chandigarh. These rules were enacted in 1964 and in these rules, unless the context is otherwise requires, the government to mean as a central government and government servant means any person appointed by the government to any civil service or post in connection with the affairs of the union and includes a civilian in a defense service as well. Every government servant shall at all times act in accordance with the government's policies regarding age of marriage, preservation of environment, protection of wildlife and cultural heritage and observe the government's policies regarding prevention of crime against women. With respect to the periodic labor force survey, consider the following statements. It was launched in 2015. It was launched by the National Statistical Office. Second is the statement that is the only statement to be correct. B is the correct answer. Unemployment rate in the country declined by 1.2% from 2017-18 to 2019-20. The data was cited from PLFS. Considering the importance of availability of labor force data at more frequent time intervals, the National Statistical Office launched the Periodic Labor Force Survey in April 2017. On the basis of PLFS, quarterly bulletins are brought out corresponding to different quarters of the survey period giving estimates of the labor force. Besides, the quarterly bulletins, annual reports are brought out covering both rural and urban areas giving estimate of all important parameters of employment. With respect to the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, Consider the following statements. It is being implemented by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. The mission addresses urban housing shortage among EWF and LIG only, that is economically weaker section and low income groups. So we have to select the correct statement. Only the first statement is correct. A is the correct answer. The Prime Minister has participated in Gri Pravesham of beneficiaries of Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana in Madhya Pradesh via video conferencing. Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban is a flagship mission of Government of India. It is being implemented by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and was launched on 25th June 2015. It addresses urban housing shortage among EWS, LIG and middle income group categories including the slum dwellers. It ensures a pakka house to all eligible urban households by the year 2022 when nation completes 75 years of its independence. Alopecia Arita is in the news after the fiasco at Oscars. In this regard, consider the following statements. The condition is developed after the immune system attacks the hair follicles of only the scalp. It mostly occurs in people who have a family history of autoimmune condition, namely diabetes and thyroid. It is not treatable. We have to select the not correct statement. So, the first and the third are not correct. Second is correct. That makes C the correct answer. 
Alopecia areata is a condition that causes sudden hair loss in patches. The condition is developed after the immune system attacks the hair follicles, resulting in hair loss which cannot be observed easily. These patches connect and then become observable. Not just the scalp, sudden hair fall may also occur in other parts of the body. According to experts, the condition can be treated using both medical and natural treatment methods. It mostly occurs in people who have a family history of autoimmune condition like diabetes and thyroid. The first National Water Award was launched by the Jal Shakti Ministry in the year. The correct answer is D, that is 2018. The President of India has felicitated the winners of the third National Waters Award on 29th March 2022. The first National Water Award was launched by the Jal Shakti Ministry in 2018. The need for a unified award was felt to encourage the stakeholders and people to adopt a holistic approach towards water resource management. The awards also strive to create awareness among the masses on the importance of water and motivate them to adopt best practices in effective water management. Now, let's move on to the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding microplastics. These are plastic particles less than 1 mm in diameter. Microbeads found in personal care products are example of primary microplastic. Now we have to select the correct statement. That's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching.